What's up guys, it's Andres and today I'm going to be showing you how to jailbreak your iPhone or your iPod Touch on 4.3.3. One of the main things you'll want to do is download the iOS for free 4.3.3 uh, which from this website which is down in the description below which you can go to. You can download uh, the 4.3.3 for the iPhone 4, uh, Verizon or GSM. Um, for the iPhone 4, it's actually 4.2.8 for Verizon, so I'll show you here how to do that, but this actually works for uh, 4.2.82, so if you have a Verizon iPhone, this works for you as well, and it's just jailbreak for the newest uh, Apple software, so iPhone 3GS works as well, iPod Touch 3G, iPod Touch 4G, and I'm pretty sure they all work for that, so uh, so you download that it'll take like 10 minutes at least it did for me I already downloaded it and then you also want to download Red Snow this is Red Snow for, uh, Red Snow for Mac this is the 0.9.6 RC15 this is just a link to the download which when you click here it will download it I already downloaded it here as a zip file um, that will also be in the description below so if you go to downloads I'll show you what Tiny Umbrella is in a little bit and what it does. <clears throat> but if you unzip it, you'll have this. You start Red Snow. This will come up. It'll tell you a little bit, t a little bit more about the iPhone Dev Team um, and other stuff. And then you'll want to browse for the IPSW for the 4.3.3, which is right here. It'll process it successfully identified. Then you'll want to click Next. It'll process the jailbreak data and stuff like that. This is when you want to uh, connect your iPhone or iPod Touch to uh, the computer. So, I mean, before it actually starts jailbreaking anything. Here you select what you want to put on your phone. Usually, you just want to install CD app because that's the main like, jailbreak. Um, this one actually says you can't do custom logos yet. So you can't do that yet, but in some other jailbreaks you can. This one has install Cydia, install custom bundle, allow boot animation, enable multitask gestures, just boot tether right now, and just enter pwn DFU mode right now. Um, this, some of these are for different things, like install custom bundle is kind of just a bundle, so you can, I'm pretty sure it's just for... Uh, to jailbreak your phone so you can use it on like T-Mobile or something like that I think it is so you can have a, a certain base fan or something um, boot animation sure go for it I don't know what that means I haven't done it ever enable multitasking gestures this is for the new um, I'm guessing it's the iPhone I think it might work on the iTouch too I think but I've never tried it I've never really I just want Cydia that's pretty much Boot tether right now is probably nothing you want to do because then if you turn off your phone, uh, your jailbreak will go away, which it's a hassle unless you don't really care or never turn off your phone. But the one time you will have to turn it off, say goodbye to your jailbreak. Or if you want to enter pwn DFU mode, which sometimes will help you out if you're having trouble with Apple and stuff like that. Oh, and before I start this, uh, you'll want to update your iPhone to 4.3.3 before you do this uh, through iTunes so you don't have any trouble. That'll be a good idea, but your iPhone's connected. Your, I mean, your iPhone or iTouch is connected right now, so when you click next, it'll tell you you have to turn, turn them off before you enter uh, DFU mode and stuff like that. It'll tell you what to do to turn them off. I hope you know what to do, but... Um, you can read it. I'm not gonna tell you too much work. And then when that's all done, you'll want to know what TFU mode is before you actually start this because you want to get it in the first try. You don't have to get it in the first try, but if you do, it'll save you a lot of time because sometimes if you do mess up and it, something does go wrong, it might take you a lot of time just to go back and redo it. So, um, go through this video. Restart a couple times. Watch what this does, uh, so you can be prepared, so you can do it on the first try. 
So once I click next, you're going to want to hold the power button, which is the one on the top, for three seconds. And then after that, you'll want to hold the home button, which is down here, for 10 seconds. Um, well, hold both of them for 10 seconds. And then you're going to want to release the power button, but keep holding the home button. For I think it's 15 seconds, I think. So I'm going to click next real quick and show you what you have to do. So hold power button. And then we're all releasing the power button, hold the home button. And you keep holding it. And then it will tell you we're out releasing the home button. You have to release the power button, but keep holding the home button for, I think you said 15 seconds, but. And during this time, it usually doesn't actually get to like one or two because it will realize that you have the iPhone and it will start jailbreaking it. I actually don't have my iPhone connected just because I don't want to mess it up since it's already jailbroken and stuff like that. But it will say that it found your device and it will keep down and it will start downloading the jailbreak. It would you will see a couple things in your life on your iPhone showing you that it is being jailbroken. Um, after that, it will just tell you you can just finish it because well, after that, there's nothing much on the computer. Everything else will just happen on your iPhone or iTouch. So you'll pretty much see that, but after that, it's all done. You're going to want to go and find Tiny Umbrella. What this does is it saves your SHSH, which is what Apple uses to identify if your device is enabled to download new software or update. Um, Apple lately has been trying to crack down on jailbroken, um, jailbroken devices. I actually had a, a really bad trouble trying to update mine to 4.3.3. So it kind of took me a long while to actually post this video. Because I was stuck on 4.3.1 and it was not allowing me to update because there was a bunch of errors first it wasn't allowing me to update it because my device wasn't um, authorized for uh, the update but I, had, I already had a tiny umbrella then so that kind of helped me out and then I just had a bunch of other problems going through because 4.3.1 wasn't um, being signing, signed by Apple anymore so just I mean for me at least I know I now know that I want to update my iPhone as soon as there's a new update I will not wait for a new jailbreak anymore just because that's what happened last time I had 4.3.1 and I wanted to wait for jailbreak for 4.2.2 I mean 4.3.2 and then I just never got around to it and then I don't know where it comes out 4.3.3 and then I was kind of stuck so just do that but when you download this it will open up this program oh well it won't open it up you're gonna have to open it up but what it does I'm gonna connect my iPhone now so you can see what it does but there he goes and then it'll come up right here Andre's iPhone so what it does is just you click here it saves your SSH SH SH which to the truth I don't really know what it stands for. I've read it before but I don't remember. But here's both of them or at least what I have. So I have four point three point three right here, four point two point two, which I don't know why it says four point three point two. It should be four point three point one. But I guess when I was trying to mess with my phone to update to four point three point three it changed it. So you have to see the log when I click save it'll say you found two and I'll save them so here's the two and then the advanced I have I don't check this if I want to because uh, I was trying to do a clean restore from Apple so I don't check uh, to set hose to CD on exit and also don't want to request my SH, SH from CD yet I want to request them from straight up Apple just because I was having so much trouble so and I also don't want to overwrite existing 
SSH files on safe SSH. SSH. Simple stuff, but you can look that up and see what that all that means and stuff like that. I just have it like that just because it worked for me on my last update, so I'm gonna leave it like that. We can do other stuff up here. It's a nice program. It, I mean, you want to save it just because if you want to update, and Apple actually knows that your device is I, uh, jailbroken, this will uh, kind of prevent Apple from knowing you're jailbroken. So it's pretty good. Download it. It won't hurt you. All you have to do is connect it, open it up, save. And then when you want to use it, you kind of just start the TSS server. And you can update. It's a pretty nice program. If you want to know more about it, the website's here. I'll put it down below so you can know what it is. That one actually works really nice. They update a lot. Right now, it supports 4.3.3 and 4.2.8. But... Um, that's pretty much it guys so I uh, hope you enjoyed the video make sure you subscribe like comment if you have any questions if you need any help with anything just let me know I'll try my best I'm not a jailbreaker jailbroken like genie I don't know everything I can't make magic happen but I've had a couple of phone, um, phone problems with mine to update to 4.3.3 so I research a lot so I might know how to get you to an answer I might not know the answer but I know how to maybe get you to an answer and I know a lot of problems since I did research a lot and uh, it's not my first jailbroken device so I know what's supposed to happen and when not so just comment let me know I'll be glad to talk to you thanks for watching and see you next time peace